Here's another one. Coming soon to Washington, anti-Trump hotel for liberals. And it offers all these big Jumbotron TVs about how wonderful liberals are and how great Obama and Hillary are uh, and how terrible conservatives are. And then there's just, I guess, like flashing screens of Republicans and Nazi symbols everywhere. So it's kind of like a re-education camp mental patient center uh, for folks that want to be immersed in the lies. That's out of Bloomberg. And that's what Apple and Google and Facebook and Twitter are all building their own little mini mentally ill cities where everybody that drinks the globalist Kool-Aid can go live in a literal re-education camp where there's flashing screens everywhere telling you you're a winner, feeding your dopamine rush, that you're taking over America, that you're going to break up those families, that you're going to sexualize children, you're going to stop the effing white males, even though effing white males run your world. That's what they're building, is little artificial bubble cities. That's that's where this is going. Twitter, Facebook, G Google, uh, Bezos has announced he's building bubble cities where there are neighborhoods with glass enclosures where you only go in those cities and the doors open for you. You get to feel powerful that nobody else can come in. You just built your own elite walled city where the uh, SJW, mainly white people, can live, uh, calling everyone outside the bubbles racist. I'm not joking. Bill Gates is building them too. This is the future. And then you'll pay for the exclusivity of being in the bubble. These are true bubble children. So we have that theme developing uh, here today. If you want to see actual schematics of the bubble cities, uh, just type in Google announces self-contained neighborhoods. And then you look, it's they're not so much bubbles because they're 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 square and then connect, and some are bubbles. <sighs> And, of course, you'll be forced into these soon enough because the GMO is going to be so toxic and all this uh, solar radiation making it through because they're frying the ozone layer with the chemtrailing and all the barium salts, aluminum dioxide is so poisoning the so soil that you'll have to go indoors soon to grow things uh, so we can kind of see their plan taking shape, making the outside so horrible that we're, again, forced into the bubble cities that were promoted by the New York Times, the UN, and the zeitgeist communist utopia and the leader peter joseph with his fake name came on the show and said if you do refuse to go to the bubble city you will be re-educated and a few years later we asked him back on he said i never said you'll be forced to re-education even though we have the tape and i said peter we do have the tape and he says you do not have the tape you do not and say it doesn't exist and we will be friends on the phone i'm like dude i'm not in your cult he talked just like the so-called industrialist that's taken over the world in um, in the new Blade Runner. He literally talks with that same affected, I am in control now. You will live in a bubble city. Robots will run everything for you. They will tell you what to do and decide what you will be. It is total freedom. And I said, who programs the mainframe computer that controls our life? That will not to be discussed. You will be re-educated. Don't ask that question. Well, intellectually... If we're all controlled by robots, who programs the robots? We will not discuss that. It will be free. It will be freedom, whoever programs the robots. Total wannabe NPR. I am in control. There is no reason for you to resist me. Things will go quite nicely once you have entered in. There is no need to resist. I am a friend. Simply providing resources that are needed by humanity. Give up your individuality and you will find happiness. Just look at the Davos Group's report this year. You have no privacy. You own nothing. You have no friends. And you've never been happier. Aren't you happy now with the robots talking to you? In the bubble city, they tell you when you can go out of town. They tell you when you could visit family. They tell you what you're going to eat and who your most compatible friends are. This is a wonderful new world. Welcome to 2030. I own nothing, have no privacy, and life has never been better. My husband my wife, those are words we cannot use. 
I have friends. I have friends. Friends I talk to. They're not machines. I identify them as human. You will be censured or fined if you do not agree with me. If I identify as being a blind person, taxpayers will pay for me to be blinded. Then you will take care of me. If I am a white male that identifies as a Filipino female, you will accept it. If you do not accept my madness, you will be arrested. This is all for the better. I gave up my consciousness to merge with the machine to live forever. When this body dies, I will live on in new bodies. Of course, that's all a lie. I'm now just a biological android, not even a cyborg. Jeff Bezos, Zuckerberg, they will be men, though. They will not take on the interface. We call them...